There is one experience that every human shares of every language and culture, the experience of birth. Our recollections of birth are hazy at best. They have the feel and aura, not so much of memories as of mystical transfigurations. It would be astonishing if this profound early experience did not influence our myths and religions, our philosophy and our science. The birth of a child evokes the mystery of other origins, the beginnings and ends of worlds, infinity and eternity. How did the universe arise? What was around before that? Might there have been no beginning? Could the universe be infinitely old? The current scientific story of the origin of the universe begins with an explosion which made space itself expand. About 15 billion years ago, all the matter and energy that today make up the observable universe were concentrated into a space smaller than the head of a pin. The cosmos blew apart in one inconceivably colossal explosion, the Big Bang. And the stuff of the universe, together with the fabric of space itself, began expanding in all directions as they do today. The early cosmos was everywhere white hot. But as time passed, the radiation expanded and cooled, and in ordinary visible light, space became dark as it is today. But then little pockets of gas began to grow. Tendrils of gossamer clouds formed. Colonies of great lumbering, slowly spinning things, steadily brightening, each a kind of beast composed of a hundred billion shining points. The largest recognizable structures in the universe had formed. We see them today, we ourselves inhabit some lost corner of one. We call them the galaxies. We inhabit a universe of galaxies. There are unstructured blobs, the irregular galaxies, globular or elliptical galaxies, and the graceful blue arms of spiral galaxies. We've been investigating the galaxies, their origins, evolution, and motions for less than a century. These studies extend our understanding to the farthest reaches of the universe. We view the cosmos on the grandest of scales. The majesty of the galaxies is revealed by science. The galaxies reveal a universal order, beauty, but also violence on a scale never before imagined. The universe seems neither benign nor hostile, merely indifferent to the concerns of such creatures as we. If the general picture, however, of a Big Bang followed by an expanding universe is correct, what happened before that? Was the universe devoid of all matter and then the matter suddenly, somehow, created? How did that happen? In many cultures, the customary answer is that a god or gods created the universe out of nothing. But if we wish to pursue this question courageously, we must, of course, ask the next question. Where did God come from? If we decide that this is an unanswerable question, why not save a step and conclude that the origin of the universe is an unanswerable question? Or, if we say that God always existed, why not save a step and conclude that the universe always existed? There's no need for a creation, it was always here. These are not easy questions. Cosmology brings us face to face with the deepest mysteries, with questions that were once treated only in religion and myth. Every human generation has asked about the origin and fate of the cosmos. Ours is the first generation with a real chance of finding some of the answers. One way or another, we are poised at the edge of forever.